And he's a big, big dude, man. He's, he's a big one. This is Premier MMA Championship live on Fight TV. And this is an amateur bout scheduled for three, three minute rounds. Introducing first to the red corner. He stands five foot nine, weighing 170 pounds. Fighting out of Harrison, Ohio. He represents Drive MMA. Dog! And in the blue corner, he stands five foot nine, weighing 170 pounds. Fighting out of Dayton, Ohio, he's a Huskin fighter, representing Vision MMA in Dayton, with a record of five wins, three losses. Ilias Mama Daliyev. Here we go, round number one of this five round championship fight for the welterweight title. Touch of gloves and here we go. A bit of the feeling out process as uh, Davison takes the center of the cage. I remember Mama Diliab fighting last time I um, was commentating with you, Turtle, and he had an amazing fight, very, very active, not afraid to get in there and scrap. It was a big kicker, if I remember correctly, doing a lot of damage to the legs of his opponent. It looks like a bit of a reach advantage here by Davison, though. Definitely a, a new dynamic here. Yeah, Davidson looks to be laser focused. I'm, I, I just saw him pass by our spot over here, and his <laughs> eyes were just fixed on Mamadiliyev. So he's, he's definitely taking control of this fight. Oh, big right hand, almost connected. Mm, some big strikes. Yeah, you know, the footwork of Mamadiliyev, I remember him. Uh, very, very active on the feet and moving around quite a bit. So he's not going to give you that stationary target to land that big shot. No. But Davidson is for sure trying to get in there and land that big heavy. See hand. what you mean there, though. Davidson does have that look in his eye. Very yeah. intimidating looking dude. Like, I would not want to be in there facing him. And you see when the distance is there, Mamadala, you know, trying to close that distance and, and, and be able to land his shots. That's a good low kick coming back. Nice exchange of low kicks from both guys at this point. A little slip there from Davidson. He's already dripping sweat, my goodness. He is, this yeah, it this just rained in, on me there. If this goes to a grappling battle, these guys are gonna be slip and sliding. There he goes, look. That was purely because of, of the sweat, I think. Mamadiliyev's doing a smart job here of holding that leg up, keeping him from standing up, but he stands in base and gets back to his feet. Hot, humid August day here in northern Kentucky, and, uh, you know, you get to competing under these lights. Oh, nice shot there. Yep. You saw Davidson slip a little bit again when he threw that, but he, he did connect, but I don't think it was a full power shot because his foot came out from underneath him a little bit. And Mamadilia, if you just saw, wipe his feet. It's going to be an interesting battle on the feet. Big haymakers from both guys here to finish up round one. All right, don't forget Premier MMA Championship yep. t-shirts are on sale. For $15 or two for $25 in
All right, guys, as they kind of uh, dried off the inside of the cage there, both these fighters sweating profusely as we go into the second of this uh, second round of this championship fight. Davidson gets a big takedown. Looking to pass immediately. But Mama Deliav does a great job of recovering guard with the overhook. I just got sprayed as well. <laughs> <laughs> You can see that Davidson's trying to get on his knees to pass guard. He's just that both fighters are just slipping. I don't think there's any way to avoid it at this point. kick from Mamadaliyev. I think Davidson did check that a little bit, but if you ever check the kick, you know that it still hurts, Turtle. Yeah. <laughs> so even though he's checking it, you notice that he's still turning sideways a little bit. It's because the stance is just a little bit closed to the center, if you notice. Oh, there were some big Mama shots. Dog, the big shots by both fighters. That's dangerous for both guys. Mamadal, I think, still having a hard time closing the distance there. So when he gets in close, he's anxious to throw some big shots. Yeah. Nice. It feels, it looks to me like that's a combo he's really used to throwing where he throws that leg kick uh -huh. and immediately starts to go with the overhand. And Davidson is doing a really good job of countering off of that, knowing exactly what's coming. Very well matched fight, both these fighters, about the same experience in their amateur careers. Ten seconds left in this second round. Oh, big shot there by Mama Dollar. Yeah, that big lead hook definitely made connection. Excellent round for both fighters. Yeah. It does seem like the champion Mama Dollar is starting to kind of uh, feel his uh, feel his way, so to speak. Yeah, he's definitely finding his groove a little bit more. Getting a little more confident with his combinations. But you'll see here that Davidson is usually firing back as soon as he it feels him get anywhere near him. You see a replay here. You can see the, the mouth of Davidson open, wide open. Yeah, he's starting to, starting to breathe a little heavier, yeah. but he's still pressing the X, still coming to the center of the cage. So he checked that one and looked for that overhand, but caught that hook on the way in. Not a ton of power in those shots. They're both kind of pulled yeah, from the big, outside with the straight arms a little shot bit. There. And that, know, was, that was the one that connected a little better. Right, and I think that there's some power there uh, with the shots from Mullen. I mean, he's very unassuming looking when you when you compare him to Davis. And right. if you notice with the, when he throws his shots, they're just coming up short, just this much. Yep. And every time, he's, he's got to find a way to just close that little bit of distance. And when he's throwing those three, four punch combos, land more than one or none right. and, uh, and and try to get it done here. Make, make no mistake, that big long-armed hook is still going to do some damage. It catches you on the jaw, catches you on the temple, can really ring your bell and, you know. That's it there in, the, yep. in that exchange. We go round number three in this championship fight. Five rounds all the way to. 
<laughs> a little show of sportsmanship there. And, and again, Davison starting out this round with, with his mouth open. Nathan, you've been a competitor many, many times, uh, cornering uh, your students many, many times. We're fighting in these conditions where it is a bit hot here. Yep. And uh, what does that do for your, the cardio of a fight? Does it, is it affected at all? For sure. You know, like in an environment like this, the, the air feels very, very heavy. And when you're already breathing hard, it just makes it that much harder. But you know that's why you that's why you train to kill yourself in the gym so that this is nothing new. Mm -hmm. Double leg, yep. he gets the takedown. Mama Deliav really needs to push on that leg on the left side of his left side and get that. He's trying for a head and arm here, but I don't think it's going to work. Really needs to try to recover guard at this point. When these guys sweating the way they are, they become very slippery. Where a lot of the, a lot of chokes are easy to pop right out of. Yep, and even that position right there, you saw him when he recovered guard. He actually yeah. slid underneath Davidson to recover guard. He's using it to his advantage right now. And they're all over this cage. If this does get back to their feet, it's going to be very, very slippery. Yeah. This is and Mamadalov gets it back up. It's going to be like fighting on a slip and slide right Looks now. Looks like a little bit of a mark there under the uh, under the left eye of Davison. Mamadilyev gets a little bit of a, a takedown there, but once again, I think it was a lot to do with this, the slipperiness of the cage. I hate to keep harping on that, but it is really affecting this fight. Dalio does it with a drag down. Let's Davidson back to his feet. Referee Chris Kenman calling to stop the fight with 25 seconds on the clock. Piece of tape there hanging off the foot of Davidson. Here we go, 20 seconds or so left. Big shots, these guys throwing some exchanges there. Just like you said, Turtle, he seems to be coming up just a little bit short on that on those punches. Both of these guys are making some good connection here. Yes, good shots, guys. But you see there at, at the end of that round, and two more rounds left in this championship fight. Round fight apparently. No, it's a championship fight. Should be. I'm a little confused. You know, I think what, what we have here is uh, Ilya's there at the end of that, that last fight, he, he was able to get his back up against the cage here to where Davison couldn't move away, didn't have as far to go. And he was able to land a few shots. Very tough fight to judge here. We're going to turn things over to, uh, to uh, I apologize uh, to the fans at home. Apparently, Ilyaz Mamadalov vacated his title to move up a weight class. Is that what it was? Okay. To, uh, to welterweight. And um, it was a little confusing to me because uh, he just won the title. So I apologize to everyone at home. I was a little misinformed there. I was hoping for a couple extra rounds because that was such a close fight. Indeed, me too.
Me too. It's going to be a tough one to judge. We're going to turn things over to Slick Rick Toms for the judge's decision. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Ilyas Mamadov. Very impressive performance You're against a tough, tough guy. Give me your thoughts on the fight. Was it fight of the night? No? Okay. Uh, that's what I was aiming for. I'm sorry I couldn't give a good show. He had a lot of power. I have a lot of family here and everywhere waiting for the results. You know, I tried to risk whatever I could. I got hit with some hard shots. The floor was slippery. I couldn't go for head kicks. You know, I did my best. I want, I want you guys to respect everybody that stepped foot inside tonight because w you guys don't know what goes on backstage. We're so nervous. We want to put on a show for all of you guys. And I also want to say thank you to all my family that came out, my team. My hometown of Dayton, Ohio went through a few rough months. And I just want to say I'm praying for Dayton. This fight was for Dayton. I wish it was a better fight because everyone there is a tough, tough, in the, they're all tough individuals. Uh, you know, thank you. It sounds like, sounds like a little tough there on yourself. I thought it was a very impressive performance against a tough guy. You, you've been impressive every time you step foot in this cage, and I look forward to seeing you back. Professional next. Well, you heard it. Make some noise for Ilyas Mamadalev.